What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here, and I'm coming at you with Q&A Part 3. Yeah, I know it took me a while to get this one out, and I apologize. This semester has just been nuts from start to finish, it seems like. There's going to be a new format so that I can get to your questions quicker, and that I can get the videos out faster. And that is, I will be answering five at least five i've had these questions lined up for months i'm looking at my laptop right here so i'm gonna be doing this quite a bit so without further ado let's do this so first question is from your locker pal it says are you into horror slash scary movies and what is your favorite series slash movie i love horror movies yes i am so into horror movies and it makes me so sad because nine out of ten of the horror movies that my generation pops out it is just garbage there's always that one jewel in the rough but the rest are just god awful like the last good horror movie that i watched not counting remakes or reboots the purge 2 was the last good one that i saw personally i have seen the gallows i've seen sinister 2 i've seen a few other horror movies since then and it is they're just oh sinister 2 shouldn't have been made the gallows was just Again, shaky cam, found footage, it's just, I'm tired of that genre. Actually, if you want to count 10 Cloverfield Lane, that would probably be the last good horror movie that I've seen. My favorite ones are, of course, Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger is my favorite serial killer, he's my favorite killer, and I actually have like 10 of his action figures. I'm going to pop one out. He's a little dusty because I have him displayed up there, but this is probably one of my favorite Freddy Kruegers, and that is the... Nightmare 2 Freddy where he has the knives coming out of his fingers and I have him of course he's posable but I have him in the you are all my children now. pose that's the pose at the cookout where he murdered a bunch of teenagers and it is my favorite Freddy Krueger quote part 2 has my favorite Freddy Krueger quote and that is help yourself fucker so I like made a joke one time to my dad that I'm gonna start a restaurant it's gonna be a buffet and our tagline is gonna be help yourself fucker <laughs> <laughs> like have like an arrow pointing down to the plates help yourself fucker so that would be kind of funny freddy's my favorite nigel filippo sorry if i say your name wrong hey poor chap my girlfriend and i love your videos a question we had for your q a was what is your favorite band what kind of music do you enjoy and listen to keep it coming dude i like how he said dude like as in like food review like food dude but anyway of course everybody knows you know due to my background right there and then a little bit right there is Kiss. Kiss is my favorite band. I love Kiss. Uh, my dad raised me on classic rock and I still listen to classic rock and I love classic rock. There are a few bands from my generation that I like but uh usually it's bands that were like 10 years before 10 20 years before I even existed that I enjoy. Kiss is my favorite band. Classic rock. I do love Black Veil Brides. I do like Smashing Pumpkins. Top three sports teams. Okay, if you're going personally, my top three sports teams, the rank would probably be right now, number one, Dallas Cowboys. Of course, you can see up there my Dallas Cowboy helmet. That one that I got from a pawn shop for five bucks. It's the little kid's Dallas Cowboy helmet I wear sometimes. And also, the hat. Then, probably right now, Texas A&M with their football team. I love Texas A&M football. Texas A&M football is, oh God, I love it. Great with the Manziel days and hopefully we can get back to that glory. And last, right now, because it's a hot topic, are the Los Angeles Lakers. That's my basketball team with the Lakers. And Kobe's retiring, we fired the coach, hitting the reset button good and hard. I think we need to do it. I had a, actually on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, I had a list like of a to-do list before next season and number one was fire byron scott so so far so good hopefully they do the other parts of my list which are get a good free agent draft like a son of a gun get phil jackson in a uh, front office position great question and uh sorry if you're not a lakers cowboys or a m fan but those are my team question from jocelyn hmm i wonder who that is why are you so cute also I love you and you made me cry. Uh, the reason why she said that I made her cry was my uh, my New Year's video and uh, just reflecting on the year and everything that has happened and everything I hope that happens going forward. So yeah, she said, why are you so cute? Um, good jeans, 
good personality, good attitude, good hair. So there we go. Love you, baby. Last question here. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have two sisters. One older, one younger, and they each have a kid. How did you earn the nickname Porkchop? Now, okay, I've answered this before in my first Q&A, but I'm gonna do a refresher course. I had a sixth grade teacher gave me the nickname Porkchop because my dad was a manager of a barbecue joint. And I eventually, a few years down the road, ended up working for him until it closed down, sadly, in 2000. 2012? No, 2011. It closed down. Two, no, 2010. God, has it really been that long? Yeah, it closed down in 2010, and I actually loved the job. I was a busboy, but I also did catering on the side, and I could actually see myself still working there if the restaurant was still open. But yeah, he just said, hey, pork chop, and I'm just, hmm, pork chop. That kind of fits. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And then when I created my FK Fan 92 channel, which was the channel before this one, that's when I started calling myself Colin Porkchop. And uh, this channel, of course, is called Colin Porkchop. So that's me. And uh, so that is how I got the nickname Porkchop. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Leave me questions for the Q&A. Leave it down below. Leave it on Facebook, Vine, Twitter, or Snapchat. Hit that subscribe button right there to become a piglet to stay in touch with my videos. You can also, like I've mentioned before, like me on Facebook, follow me on Vine, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. Leave me recommendations where you want to see me eat. I always do food reviews, and I'm always open to new suggestions. So there you have my little piglets, and always remember, Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. Thank y'all so much for leaving me questions, and y'all have a great day. Looking forward to hearing more. Bye, guys.